Our next topic is MVNO security. Security is the main issue of cloud services provided for mobile operators. Due to cloud characteristics such as visualization and multi-tendency, application sharing and open source software, the associated security threats such as authentication, information leakage and data corruption are also growing in the TAS cloud environment. On the other hand, due to the open nature of IP in mobile technologies, these networks are potential targets of cyber attackers to intrude services and cause problem to the end users and mobile operators. Although in latter phases, extensions such as IPsec and authentication authorization and accounting have been added into mobile network implementations, security is still a main challenge in cloud computing because of the inconsideration in initial design of the internet. Due to the nature of 5G networks in extremely fast communication, it is important how and which authentication mechanism are chosen since even the lowest latency can have considerable effects on communication. Moreover, in 5G networks, delay in setting up control plane security will impact the delay of sensitive applications such as machine to machine. Common non-accessible stratum signaling is an example of control plane signaling which may introduce delays in 5G security. The user-enabled security feature is another aspect to be considered in 5G networks. In current mobile networks, it is MVNO who decide which and when security mechanisms should be applied, while it would be more feasible if the user could enable the security feature voluntarily, depending on the needs of the application used. In general, it is possible to build 5G security based on 4G security mechanisms considering their significant robustness. In this topic, we concentrate on MVNO security for the cloud environment regardless of the generation 5G or 4G. To fulfill security requirements such as availability, integrity and AAA, we need to address task vulnerabilities. We assume that these requirements will be applied in some way also on 5G networks. In figure, task security issues are classified into three main aspects. First, data security. Second, hypervisor and VM security which covers SDN and NFV security. And third is application security. Next topic is overview of the security architecture in 5G. Under overview of the security architecture in 5G comes security domain. The 5G security architecture is divided into five parts. First, network access security. Second, network domain security. Third, user domain security. Fourth, application domain security. Fifth, SBA domain security. First is network access security. The set of security features that enable a UE to authenticate and access services via the network securely, including the 3GPP access and non-3GPP access and in particularly to protect against attacks on the radio interfaces. In addition, it includes the security context delivery from SN to AN for access security. Next comes network domain security. The set of security features that enables network nodes to securely exchange signaling data and user plane data. Next is user domain security. The set of security features that secure the user access to mobile equipment. Next comes application domain security. The set of security feature that enables application in the user domain and in the provider domain to exchange message securely. Application domain security is out of scope of the present document. Next is SBA domain security. The set of security features that enables network functions of the SBA architecture to securely communicate within the serving network domain and with other network domains. Such features include network function registration, discovery and authorization security aspects 
as well as the protection for the service based interfaces sba domain security is a new security feature compared to ts33.401 next is visibility and configurability of security the set of features that enable the user to be informed whether a security feature is in operation or not note the visibility and configurability of security is not shown in the figure i hope you understood the concepts here but 5g security is a vast topic and many of you would like to understand it in detail so please enroll yourself for full training course of 5g security on our website here i conclude this topic hope you understand all the concepts clearly meet you in the next topic if you have any queries please get in touch with us by typing your comment in the comment section thank you for watching do like and subscribe to our videos so what are you waiting for join us for the course and do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon also if you like our videos don't forget to hit the like button and share our videos